were driving off with our kids safely in the car and I heard you say like, we're sorry babies. And it's like, I feel incredibly guilty. Are you excited to go see Nina and Nona and Papa? Canada, here we go. still in the airport because this is the world's slowest airport. So we're just crossing our fingers that the baby's crib and car seat actually arrived too, but we made it nonetheless. Do I look as tired as I feel right now? I think I do. We've only been up since 4 a.m. so, but we are here, we're safe and sound. Oh, there's the crib. Yay. Yeah, we have a uh, one crib. We're just waiting on a car seat. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. Toronto, we're back. Say Nina. Nina. I'm coming for you. Canada folks <laughs> and it is like a brand new season here uh, still in the thick of winter there's been like multiple snow flurries in the less than 24 hours that we've been here but we are powering through I feel like this whirlwindness of the trip is really catching up with me everybody else seems to be doing just fine but I feel super run down <laughs> and I know that we only have like 48 plus hours left to make the most of our time here in Toronto, so I'm determined to keep on trucking. <laughs> she goes, uh-oh, mommy's following us. Do you not want me to come? Oh! You're just enjoying your Nina time, she eh? So much. Where are we going, Josh Beach? Uh, I don't know, actually. Where are we going, Nina? Disney animation. Way. Disney animation! Brace yourselves for the cold. It's not that bad. No? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's a little better. It's alright, isn't it? It's not too bad. It's sunny. I can you see your breath. Close. Out of 10 on the Disney experience. Highly recommend if you're in Toronto and you have little kids, do it. Um, and now, and now, the big moment, the real reason why we're here and why this whole trip happened in the first place, we are going to celebrate my Nana's 91st birthday. And if you have been watching this channel for a while, you know why this is so momentous and why it is so important that we came here to be with her for this time and this experience 91 years guys what an incredible incredible feat let's go celebrate the birthday girl one two three happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday Good morning Toronto, how are we? It's a lovely 91st birthday for Nona yesterday, so we were greatly, really, really, really grateful we could be here for that. 
today we're gonna have a bit of a mooch around. We got our photo shoot. First family of four photo shoot with the legendary Matt Barnes. So yeah, can't wait for that. He's like a magician with a camera, really he is. I'm excited, I'm excited. Let's go Toronto. Just got to the studio and I have no idea how long the kids are gonna last. The photographer was like, I have a hard out after like two hours and 15 minutes and we were like, dude. <laughs> That is wishful thinking. I think we're probably gonna have like a 45 minute window where they are content to be there. So fingers crossed they even last that long. I'm very excited. Hopefully we get a nice shot because these are gonna be the kinds of photos that we look back on for the rest of our lives. So no pressure, no pressure at all. Success. Oh yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. Some right bangers in there. I think we really did get some good, some goodies. Oh. The kids were really well behaved. Really well behaved. Didn't last too long, but I think we got what we needed. We uh, uh, an uh, hour uh, and a half, didn't they? Did they? Yeah. Wow. Exceeded my expectations then. Obviously not consistent. No. And there may or may not have been Eminem bribing involved, but you know. You do what you gotta do, we got it done. And just like that, our trip has come to an end. It has been an absolute whirlwind. We are all exhausted. <laughs> Definitely learned that it's probably best to buffer with an extra day here or there just so that we give ourselves some breathing room to sleep and recover but we did pack so much into this very very quick trip it was really special to get to celebrate my nona's 91st birthday with the kids and she was just so happy so over the moon at one point she got up and went around the table like person to person giving everyone a hug and just like whispering something in their ear and it was really special she was super happy the photos from our family photo shoot were beautiful um, same photographer that shot us with Bowie for a family portrait when she was just one so it was like special to do that with him again and New York was incredible we've kind of fell back in love with that city we haven't been there in so long so the whole thing was amazing and um, well, both cities are like a bit of a challenge to navigate with two small kids in tow. They had the best time ever and I really can't recommend both cities enough. New York and Toronto, you've got pieces of our heart forever, ever, ever. And now it's time to go back home. So we will see you guys back in Tennessee. Travel day 3.0, <laughs> let's go. Hello. We're home. We are home. Um, we just wanted to take a minute to wrap up this video, filling you guys in on something I'm sure you're already very aware of, um, but shortly after arriving back home in Tennessee, um, we like the rest of the world, um, caught wind of the tragic news of what happened at Covenant School in Nashville. It happened in the Green Hills area, which is literally down the street from... It's where we um, actually we went, took the kids to see yeah. Father Christmas. 
Um, yeah, at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. So very close to home. Which doesn't make it any better or any worse. It's the fact that it was near us. It's it's the fact that it's happened again. Could have happened in LA, Texas, New York, anywhere in America. It just keeps happening. Obviously, it hits a little harder when you do have a little girl who's in school out here and it could have just as easily been her school could have just as easily been one of our friends kids schools this this is the sort of thing that i think a lot of people think oh it will only happen somewhere else this can happen to any kid in america it can and we know that and we always knew that but now it's like oh my god like it's like it just it's it, here it, it's, it's crazy to go and physically you know, we we visited the school a few days after and wanted to just go and pay our respects and bring some flowers and to just know that you're standing on the concrete, like feet away from where these kids and teachers had the most terrorizing experience um, just days before. It's just like a really bizarre bizarre thing you never get used to school mass shootings you don't get used to mass shootings but especially in schools you don't get used to that being part of i hate to say it, it's actually i it's part of the culture here now unfortunately um it's i would say more common than a tornado out here you know it's just it happens all the time you don't get used to it but you unfortunately it is it is regular i think what was so scary with you with you valdi was you saw the video like the police didn't do anything it was horrendous i know they went and did something after but it was too late it was way too late nashville's police i would say acted really quickly and rex i think his name was who was like an absolute hero um and we thank you nashville police for that because that did definitely make us feel safer we have mental health issues in the uk and, and canada, canada and no one's running in and killing loads of kids in schools it just doesn't it's not happen happening. there are many 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 things that can be done to stop the trajectory of where this is going someone sent us a link to a bulletproof backpack for bowie like literally yesterday like, we're looking normal? at picking out a bulletproof backpack for our four-year-old and would she want dinosaurs or unicorns on this bulletproof backpack before other people that like to jump in and on our lives like we share our lives with the world so this is to be expected but stop typing for a second saying that we should just go and live in england it's not as easy as just going shanae is not english yeah. we can't just go and live in england we have a life in america our children were born in america yes they have british citizenship yes we can get shanae but it takes time you also have it to build time. a life you have to, you have to be able there. to earn a living in the country that yeah, you're in like, it's just not that simple so like and as trust much us as that's a nice suggestion like we've considered all of our yeah, options and you've seen in our content recently like we are making steps to go to england but it's not going to happen tomorrow so please right now just this like, is the situation yeah. that we're in yeah. and we have to deal with it this is something that hit i think both of us really hard obviously hearing about the news you know josh calling me and saying you know there's been a shooting in in nashville like what do we do whatever and looking at the news like just it all felt so surreal playing out that day and it was just horrific to process and then that night evening time we often go for a walk with the dog and we went for a walk and Bowie fell. She just like fell, scraped her knee, no big deal. When she scraped her knee, she started to panic more than just like her knee being hurt. She was completely panicked and she just kept saying, you know, the blood's coming, there's blood, like help me, please mommy, help me, help me. And like, it literally like broke us both because it just was like such a silly, like she tripped and fell and scraped her knee. And just knowing how helpless a four and a half year old feels and scared a four year old feels from falling and scraping her knee, you can't not immediately go to the place of like, just imagining what those kids experienced earlier that morning and feeling such guilt that you get to like rinse your kid's knee off that night and tuck her into bed and feeling such guilt like when we went to the school i heard you murmur under your breath after we put the flowers down and 
said a prayer and, and drove off. Like we're driving off with our kids safely in the car. And I heard you say like, we're sorry babies. And it's like, I feel incredibly guilty. And, and honestly at a loss as to like what truly like powerful action we can take because it feels we feel so powerless like the statistic is that like no matter what side of the fence you're on 92 percent of americans like want change to happen and yet like it's not happening it's just so terrifying because you're like what can we even do like it what are they waiting for like more more kids to die because they keep they keep dying like the the numbers keep stacking up gun violence is the number one cause of death of children in america they say it again it's the number one cause of death in america over motor vehicle being accidents and cancer combined actually yeah. in the uk just to put it into perspective it's cancer you know so that's I don't know what it is in Canada, but in the UK it's cancer. And like this is in our control and nobody is doing anything. You're used to sitting on a, on a Sunday and maybe some of you have turned this off now. Some of you have stuck around and, it's, and like feel sad now. Yeah, fucking feel sad. That's why we've put this in here because feel something. And if you feel something, do something. The only true action we can take right now to protect our kid is to not send her into school so that she is homeschooled we'd have to figure out resources to do that she would be deprived of the socialization from being in school and she loves her school or we can send her into school literally just pray that it never happens at her school and if we want to we can spend four hundred dollars on a backpack covered in rainbows and unicorns that you can select at checkout if you want it to only protect from pistols or if you want it to be able to protect from AK 47s and no, AR, AR style weapons. And AK whatever's. AK, yeah. This is how much I know about this stuff, okay? Like, it's insanity. If you're angry and upset, let's do something. Let's do something. Talk to people about it. Even if you're not from America, like you can still be active in this in this campaign to to help because where's next? This is a fucking huge problem and it needs to be sorted out before all our little kids are going to school in body armor with Spider-Man on it. If there is anybody watching this who has been affected by the mass shooting this week or a mass shooting you mass shooting yeah or any kind of gun violence we're so sorry sorry yeah and we are thinking of you and sending you our love and we we promise that we will continue to do what we can do whatever we can and just, we can vote now yeah try to we can vote here now find resources and ways that we can actively fight for a change let's go let's get together doesn't matter what side let's get together and sort this out